Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to the 2nd of August and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Senate CFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe on to around a couple of weeks. And of course we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the second half of August. I'll get time back to you in a moment. Just say that first, the video today was our 6M UK weather forecast. And we've got a channel member live stream coming up at 8 p.m. this evening. So if you're a channel member, check into your second July 2025 channel member live stream. And uh, I shall see you a little bit later on. Okay, latest with that from EarthNoSchool.net shows that we've got low pressure in the Atlantic and we've got high pressure though ridging just to the west of the UK and Ireland as the trough of low pressure moves away to the east. So the jet stream is doing uh, something a little bit like that, rather bendy, rather wavy <laughs> with the jet stream. Uh, this ridge should bring quite a bit of dry weather, I think, towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 18.7. That's 2.7 degrees above 61 to 90.90 average. Up a visual to uh, yesterday to the 22nd of July. Will we hang on to an 18 Celsius CT month? It may be touch and go, but I think there's a possibility we might be able to do it, particularly if we can hold the temperatures up at night with uh, some quite clouding warm nights then uh, we may just about be able to hang on to an 18 celsius c team up could be very very interesting where that comes in in around a week or so's time these were GFS upper air temperature adaptation on samples for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So, it's only slightly below average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They're going to be lifting up though over the uh, next couple of days. It's going to be turning warmer towards the end of the week. Then they'll be falling back again a bit uh, um, as we get into the weekend and through to start of next week. So, rather up and down, looking rather zonal actually. Well, as I've been saying in videos over the past few days, we are seeing a return term of the westerlies and of course that's a zonal flow with uh, warmer and cooler and warmer sectors alternating with one another at this time of year zonality tends to produce like average type temperatures i think when when you average it all out of course in the winter zonality will produce uh, above average uh, temperatures um but uh, yeah pretty zonal over the uh, next week or so perhaps a bit cooler there as we get into the start of August. precipitation wise well there will be some precipitation to come not a huge amount but there will be showery bursts and maybe a little bit more unsettled when we get into early August. Temperature normally for the next uh, five days, slightly above average, 6 to 10 day, coming out average in the south, below average in the north, 10 to 14 day. Again, nothing particularly exciting going on there, close to average, below average uh, temperature anomalies for the north. And precipitation anomalies the next seven days, up to the 30th of July, uh, overall coming out slightly uh, drier than average across many parts of the country. If we look at the 8 to 14 day, then we see again that it is slightly drier than normal. Okay, let's start going through the chart data. Then, Miss Avalanche's UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Saturday with high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north flat and westerly. And we go through weekend into next week, keeping that high pressure to the southwest. That's his all side, of course, sitting to the southwest of the UK island, low pressure to the north of Scotland. So, westerly winds continue. We are in for a return of the westerlies for the end of July. July and into August. Uh, this is how the icon model is looking. Again, we've got that high pressure to the southwest, low pressure to the north, bringing the wind from west northwesterly direction. Not a particularly exciting uh, wind direction in the summer because it's going to bring in quite a lot of cloud to the north and the west, and temperatures aren't going to be that exciting. The highest temperatures will be in the south, where we're closest to the ridge. That's where we have the best of the uh, sunshine. So temperatures there, you know, it could be quite warm, um, but. Uh, Further north, it will be relatively cool as we bring in a fair amount of cloud from off the Atlantic. 
And they come with some showers in the north, of course, as well. Uh, right, this is how the KMA is looking. So, uh, again, we've got the setup of high pressure, south low pressure to the north, bringing in that westerly flow. And that carries on to 288 hours. So, heading up towards day 10. Still, flat to bank, eight, really. High pressure, south low pressure to the north. And then we've got the westerly winds. And then we've got uh, the GFS. Well, that's all much of a muchness as well. So, ridging to the south, low pressure to the north all looking flat, all looking westerly. It's not going to be a bad period, but it's not going to be like the warmest, driest, hottest period of the summer uh, by any means. Uh, just very pleasant conditions, I would have thought. And the most pleasant conditions would, of course, be closest to that area of high pressure. Now, the further south and southwest you go, that's where you'll get the best of the weather in this pattern. And I wouldn't be too surprised if the temperatures lift up into the mid 20 Celsius, at least down the south. So, uh, really nice weather for the south. But in the north, probably uh, rather more cloudy, cooler and changeable. That's how we look when we get to the end of the GFS midnight run. By then, uh, pressure is weakening, turning more unsettled because that is like two weeks away. And then the GFS 6Z by comparison, or in comparison, again, it's high pressure, south, low pressure to the north. And at times, we will bring in weather systems on these westerly winds. They'll bring in bands of cloud and showers. And even down the south, it could be uh, one or two showery bursts. But most of the settled weather, of course, will be in the north. Now, around day 9, 10, low pressure perhaps a little bit stronger bringing some quite uh, unsettled conditions in from the northwest and cooler uh, with that as well with winds switching a room into more of a northerly and then they back into the west again as we go beyond day 10 so uh, that's a setup when we get to the 8th of August the end of GFS 6 everyone with a nice ridge from the Azor bringing bring quite a bit dry and relatively warm weather uh, with it there but again, that's two weeks late, so a very long way off. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals, always get to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. Around uh, 60 subscribers gets us to 19.5k. So you could get, give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM, again, with high pressure, south, low pressure, turn it off. We're flat pancake uh, through the weekend and into next week as well uh towards the end of next week perhaps turns a bit more definitively unsettled with low pressure heading in from off the atlantic uh that's a setup at day 10 2nd of uh, august so by then well we're under a slight weak transient ridge looking a little bit on the cool and showery side and then uh the ecm is rounding it all off with high pressure south low pressure <laughs> to the north um you get the picture by now uh we go through next week Similar setup, really. So, uh, westerlies, yes, they're uh, going to be dominating the scene. The westerlies strike back. The turn of the westerlies. Have you got a phrase there uh, with a Star Wars reference? Uh, the westerlies are well and truly in uh, through the first week of August there. So not going to be the most exciting spell of weather that we've ever had. But very, very again, you have to take the rough with the smooth, don't you? Uh, Precipitation-wise, for the next 10 days, based on that ECM run, well, going to be quite a bit of dry weather. A few showery bursts coming and going, though, on those westerly winds. Again, not looking particularly unsettled. Well, day nine, uh, bring some quite wet weather down into the south. And, you know, there's some rain coming and going, but it's not going to be an especially... A uh, wet period, I don't think. Means I dropped on the table. Then the ECM on Sunday, day four, day ten for the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the second of August. Twenty members of the ECM on Sunday with a trough of low pressure through the UK and Ireland, a ridge out in the Atlantic, just doing something a bit like that. No bringing the wind from northwest direction, about fifteen with a ridge from the uh, Azores to West Europe. Should be quite a bit dry weather with it. Um, they've got nine with, again, high pressure ridging from the southwest. Um, relatively weakish pressure, so it could still be a bit showering. And seven with a deep low to the east. High pressure's out to the west. And with that one, we bring the wind in from like a northerly type direction. So, you know, 
when we have a rage or when we have a trial, um, we don't have a pattern of trough, rage, trough, rage. So whether at day 10 we're under a trough and then day 11 we're under a rage or whether it's vice versa, that's the kind of pattern that we're setting up. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got and it gets us to the 7th of uh, August. So we've got 15 members of the ECM on times with low pressure of the north, high pressure to the south. That's essentially keeping the westerly zonal flow going. Uh, 11 with high pressure just out to the west of us, low pressure to the east. That's going to be drier, but could be a bit of cool side. We've got 10 with high pressure to the south, uh, to the south, to, to the south, southwest, low pressure to the north, northeast. Uh, we've got 9 with high pressure right up top the G, and we've got 6 with high pressure out in the Atlantic. So again, it's a case of you know, uh, both day 10 and day 14, high pressure ridging up from the Azores, but being flattened off by areas of low pressure rolling in over top on, on those westerly winds, really. Uh, right, okay, CFS and done. means a 500 millibar high tolerance of a breakdown into week periods. The first week period takes from 23rd, 29th of July. The next week has high pressure ridging up from the southwest, uh, bringing in that westerly flow. Uh, week 2 will be the 30th of July to the 5th of August. Again, high pressure out to the west, low pressure to the north, so bringing in the wind from west to Should be mainly dry, particularly from the south and southwest, a bit more unsettled up in the north. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 6th to the 12th of August. High pressure in central towards Germany, so that's going to be a hotter position for the high. That'll bring the air up from a southerly direction. That could be our next hot spell then. And then uh, week 4 is the uh, 13th to the 19th of August. Again, high pressure sitting to our south. Low pressure is up here. And uh, that's going to be bringing up wind for a southwesterly direction uh, once again. That could be quite warm too. We'll see, though. Long way off that. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to check one for doing that. Want to drop a comment? Let us know. What you think about this and all my videos and content? Don't forget to tell friends about down below. Get subscribed to make sure to check one for doing that. So, if you're a channel member, you've got your channel member live stream, uh, second channel member live stream for July, coming up uh, this evening at 8 pm. Tomorrow, we're going to have, have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and we'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So, uh, keep checking back to the channel for more content. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.